Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over the 7th anniversary event rewards and how to obtain them and there are two main rewards in the anniversary event. The first one is going to be the avatar and the missions required to actually obtain that over the mini events and of course there's also going to be off duty Rick where we can obtain him up to limit break 3. Now, while some of these events will sort of cross over in terms of the mini events that you can do to get stuff, for instance, this first one we have going on right now, they are still, even within these mini events, seemingly going to be separated to a certain extent. Firstly, we're going to be going over the anniversary avatar, as I do see a lot of people asking how you can get these boxes to progress, to get the tickets, and obviously the avatar itself. So the mission I'm talking about, of course, is the one up the top, the 7th anniversary mission event. You can see there is an avatar here. And it's going to be some tickets as well. I believe there's a grand total of 105 tickets here. Seven claims of 15. And that means you're going to be able to get yourself 105 of these tickets, which you can use in the grey market, which we'll check out in a second. And if you claim all seven of the anniversary boxes throughout the event, you'll be able to get the nice avatar, which does look pretty cool on the left-hand side, as you can see. Kind of like a gut cake in a box with a, a walker holding it. A walker holding it. Now, you get one of these anniversary boxes per mini event that is coming to RTS. We have, of course, got one underway right now, which you can get your hands on. I have not yet completed it. I obviously have to do the second SR tournament to be able to get the energy to run this. You can obviously get the first 7th anniversary box right now in the current event, and you can do that via the roadmap. And it is this One Day Gone roadmap right here. If you want a walkthrough on the One Day Gone mini event i have done a little mini guide for this one as well you can go check that out i'm not going to be breaking this down in too much detail but simply put you get the energy to run through this roadmap which is going to be the candles and once you get enough of the candles i think it's i believe it's 350 total you'll be able to complete the entire roadmap and you'll be able to get a lot of advanced mythic tokens i think it's like between 10 i think it's actually 20,000. but also you'll be able to get this box and this is the box that's going to actually progress you on that mission the first of seven and this is because this is the first of seven mini events one day gone is the first one number one and then we'll look into the, the names of the other ones it's going to be two three four it's going to have the, the actual number in each mini event i kind of think that's kind of funny but we'll just check out the other mini events as well so you can see this is how we are going to obtain all seven of the seventh anniversary boxes. In week one, we have got one in the current event, which is one day gone. In week two, we have got one in two behind bars, and that's another mini event. In week two, we have a second mini event called three sorrowful lives. Again, that's going to be the third box that we can obtain. Then we go on to week three, and we have the fourth crate in the calm before. And then we have the fifth in week three as well in five remain and then we go back to weekly events for the last two remaining boxes it's going to be fear the six in week four and then in week five we have seven ways out with the last remaining seventh anniversary box required for the mission and then when you get all seven obviously you'll be able to get all these rewards you'll have the avatar and then you'll have these 105 tickets you can get 105 tickets in here and you can get another 15 from leveling up Rick himself, making it 120 total. The 15 from Rick is obviously a bit more optional, but I would say definitely going for the 105 in the top mission here is a smart move. And that is because you can spend these tickets in the grey market for ultra crates, where you can get ultra mythic tokens up to 100,000. The rates are not amazing for the top rewards, but you're going to get a minimum of 1,000 per crate, and you should be able to buy at least all five of these i think you can completely clean out all of these crates if you get all 120 of the tickets and then next up is the advanced crate it's the same odds and the same rewards but you actually get 10 of these crates rather than the five of the ultra crate and then we have the gold mythic crate and again if you don't get the 15 from the rick level up you'll just miss out on 15 of these gold mythic crates it is going to still be pretty decent rewards that's going to be 15,000 gold mythic tokens minimum you are likely to get at least one 10,000 pool in 15 pools but you could get like i say you're extremely lucky you probably would want to have the majority of your luck in the advanced crates or the ultra crates though 
getting 100,000 tokens on either of, the, of those two would obviously be massive. So that pretty much rounds up the first half of the event when it comes to what you can get. You'll be able to get those crates in the seven mini events and you're going to be able to progress through those missions, get your hands on the avatar and obviously get your hands on the bonus rewards with the tickets. Now separate to that is going to be off duty Rick while he will be attached to some of the same mini events as the, some of the boxes, he does have his own separate way of getting him, of course. So the first mini event where we have both the anniversary boxes and a copy of Rick available is going to be the current event, which is one day gone. I think the majority of people will kind of see this. You get a hundred of the gifts, the, the actual presents when you log in and you just can claim that the seventh anniversary present and you exchange this for your first copy of Off Duty Rick. Pretty straightforward, you just go to the 7th anniversary section of the Grey Market, you'll exchange the 100 presents for Rick, there's nothing else you can exchange these presents for, so you can't make any mistakes. You're going to be able to get yourself your hands on the first copy, but how do we get the other 4 copies of this character? And just like the 7th anniversary boxes for the Avatar missions, these are going to be in the mini events. Not every single mini event because obviously there's only five copies of Rick required and there's going to be seven mini events. But the mini events he's going to be a part of are going to be two behind bars in week two, the calm before in week three. He's also going to be in five remain in week three as well. He's not going to be in a week four reward, but there is going to be a seventh anniversary gift in that week. And that is going to obtain Ultra Tokens, Advanced Tokens, and Gold Mythic Tokens. It's just a little bonus. And then Rick's last copy is going to be available in the final mini event, which is going to be Seven Ways Out. And that will be all five copies of 7th Anniversary Off Duty Rick. This is pretty much shaping up to be like the Brutus Mythic Trial in terms of accessibility. You can see how easy it was to get your hands on the first version of Off Duty Rick. I'm guessing the other ones are going to be just as straightforward, either milestone based or very simplistic login style um, rewards. It is going to be interesting to see how week three goes as we are going to have two potentially obtainable in the same week. Those weeks with the double events, be it for the avatar or for rick are going to be pretty hectic i feel so make sure you focus on what you have to do in those weeks so you don't miss out on rewards so once you have all of those seventh anniversary presents for rick you can obviously just claim him individually claim him all in one go it is completely up to you and obviously after that it's just about upgrading him with silvers and then leveling him up leveling up his skills now if you do obtain all five copies of rick and level him up and upgrade his skills during the event you will get bonus rewards you'll get these badges for acquiring him as you can see up to five copies and then for leveling him up you'll get some more badges you have to completely max him out pretty much as you can see it's level 720 it goes up to and then you have to pretty much max out all his skills 15s 20s 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 this is pretty much maxing out all his skills you can see i have already completed one because i got the first copy of off duty rick if you don't complete the entirety of these missions, you will not get the bonus reward. And the bonus reward is going to be those extra 15 tickets. This will mean you'll effectively miss out on 15 of the gold mythic random crates. I would definitely focus on the ultra and the advanced crates first. So um, it basically you'll miss out on the gold mythic token crates. This isn't that big a deal, but it is obviously nice. It's some extra rewards for... You leveling up a character. I would say Rick is potentially going to be used by quite a lot of people. He does seem like a good leader. So if you are planning to max him out, max him out during the event, you're going to get the best rewards back for doing that. And then you just spend your badges in the 7th anniversary market, wherever you feel. It's kind of like a reforged event that happened in war. For instance, I really want these sort of things. So I'm going to be buying these pretty much throughout. I want the medals. And it is enough medals to completely max out Rick. So you're not going to have to spend any extra medals that you've got currently. You can just buy the medals in here with the rewards, max out Rick, and your job is done. So that's it for the guide on how to get Limit Break 3 Rick. Also how to get your hands on the Avatar, all the main rewards from the 7th anniversary event. There will be some mini rewards with each mini event. As we see with the current event, you can get yourself some advanced tokens. There are advanced tokens in other mini events. There are some ultra tokens. There's some weapons. 
There's definitely some other things up for grabs. I'll be going over those events when they are announced. More info on those to follow. But basically, if you keep on course with those mini events, you should be able to get your hands on a full Limit Break 3 Rick and hopefully the Avatar as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, guys, or ask them on my live stream. But that is the end of this video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.